Hey everybody, today I'm gonna to share with you my favorite opening pitch. No matter what you're selling, no matter who you're selling it to, this is my favorite opening pitch. So I was really thinking about this and it's been challenging to me lately as I'm working with our six week jumpstart participants. Um, I have a program right now where I'm doing one-on-one -on -one coaching. We do it, you know, we accept new people in once every month or so. And I decided this time I was gonna do something a little different. So instead of just doing the one-on-one -on -one coaching, I'm actually doing a weekly Zoom session with all of our participants. So for this month, we got about nine people that are jumping in these weekly meetings and I'm recording them and they're seeing them afterwards. And so I've been really challenging myself to kind of, you know, by having that more personal interaction and kind of q and I'm kind of going back and saying, what did I really do? Like when I'm selling merchant accounts, I sold hundreds of merchant accounts. How did I really, really sell them? Not what do I want to tell people, but what did I actually do? And when I think about that, I can't escape the fact that there is one pitch, one opening presentation, whatever you want to call it, that was really my favorite. And here it is. Are you ready? When I'd walk into a business, I love to walk in after I'd connected with someone on LinkedIn. All right. And I would walk in and I would give an opening pitch. And I'm going to give you the opening here in a few minutes, but I need a little context first so you understand what I'm talking about of connecting with them on LinkedIn. How is that changing my opening pitch? Here's what I would do. On a very regular basis, at least once or twice a week, I would take about an hour and I would go onto LinkedIn and I would go through and I would search on LinkedIn. So I talked about this recently on the podcast, uh, this idea that you could literally just take your phone out right now and open up the LinkedIn app right at the top. You can search for the word owner. And I had different searches I would do like president, owner, business owner, CEO. But if you search the word owner and hit enter and then click on people, then you can select connections and choose your first and second degree connections. And you can click on location and you can choose uh, you know, location near you, like you know, in your local area. That's gonna show you all the people that have something to do with a title of like owner that are a first or second degree connection on LinkedIn and that are somewhere in your general area, right? Geographically. So then once that would happen, I would spend about an hour going through and just clicking on various people. As I'm adding to my, um, you know, uh, my connection list every week, I'm trying to connect with 10, 15, 20 new business owners every week on LinkedIn. All of their connections are second degree connections to me now, so they're now going to show up. Now, I personally like to use LinkedIn Sales Navigator to organize all of that a little bit better, but you really don't have to do that. And I actually don't think I even did that back when I was using it uh, when I was selling full-time merchant services. But I would go through and I'd find somebody I'm connected to. And part of the great thing about LinkedIn is it not only tells you the name and their company and all that, but it also tells you who your shared connection is, okay? Now, more often than not, if I'm connected to somebody in the local area and they're a business owner, I probably am sharing a connection with one of my existing clients or with another local business owner that I know pretty well. So what I would do then in that situation is, my favorite opening, I would, you're like, well, what do you do then? You found somebody on social media. You probably sent them to a click funnel page, right? You probably, you know, uh, added, to, added them to a custom audience on Facebook so you could retarget them. You know, you probably, you know, used Google AdSense to follow them around the internet with a great offer. No, I actually didn't do any of those things. The, what I did was I actually did this, had this crazy idea that maybe I would actually just go sell them. I thought that was a pretty good idea. So what I did was I actually found out who they were what their business was. I sent them a connection request and said, Hey, I see that we share a connection with Susan. Um, uh, you know, she's a client of mine. I'd love to connect with you uh, since we're both local business owners here in the area. So I'd send that connection request. Didn't really matter if they accepted it or not. Then I would go out, walk into the business and I walk up and I already knew it. And the other thing great about LinkedIn is I knew exactly what they looked like because their picture is on LinkedIn. So I go in and I would say, you know, Hey, Bill, right? He'd say, yeah. And I'd say, hey, Bill, my name is James Shepard. Uh, I actually uh, reached out and connected with you through LinkedIn. I don't know if you saw that or not, um, but we have a shared connection. I saw that you were connected with Susan. Susan's a friend of mine. Uh, you know, we're both local small business owners. And so I just kind of wanted to stop by, do some networking, introduce myself and ask how you know Susan. Have you guys, you guys got, have like a history, you go back a little ways? And I would start the conversation that way. That was actually my favorite opening pitch. If you had to give me a choice, that's the opening pitch I liked the best. Better than all my other sales gimmicky opening presentations, better than any of that other stuff, that was my favorite one. And the reason is because I got instant credibility because I'm mentioning the name of somebody else. 
I know the name of the owner, and even better, I know what the owner looks like. So I don't have to walk in and say, yeah, is Bill available? Like, no, I know what Bill looks like. So if I walk in and I see Bill in the back, I say, hey, Bill, because I know what he looks like. So I love that part of it. And then I had that instant credibility because of who I'm connected with. And then I have the perfect icebreaker because now they're going to say one of two things. They're either going to say... Uh, no, you know what? I didn't even know we were connected on LinkedIn. I'm really never on there. Um, I, we probably met at a, at the local chamber of commerce or, you know, something like that. I say, Oh, great. How long have you been a member of the chamber? And I just strike up a conversation with them. Right. Then what I do is I transition into my, the reason I'm there, the excuse for why I stop by is that I'm just doing networking. And I say, you know, uh, one of the things I've, I've really made a commitment to this year, Bill, is I'm trying to do more networking. You know, I'm really trying to get out in the local market and, you know, really get to know other local small business owners. Um, I would love to take five or 10 minutes and learn more about your business here and find out what you do a little bit about that, learn about you and then tell you a little bit about what I do and see if maybe we can benefit each other. We're both right here in the local community. We both know Susan. Um, do you have a couple minutes right now? We could sit down and talk or would you like to schedule a time? I could come back and just have a quick networking introduction. I'm sure we'd both get some value from it. Um, and from that, I'm going to get the meeting either now or later. And when I come back in again, it just feels different. I can't, it's like, it's a, it's a difficult one for me to make a video about because it just feels different. It's hard for me to explain it. You're watching the video or listening and you're thinking, okay, James, that still sounds like a sales call, but it just feels different. It feels more like networking. It feels more like leverage. It feels like you're the one more in control of that. Now, what's even better is sometimes they actually say, Susan, oh yeah, sure. We go way back. We went to high school together, you know, or whatever. And especially if it's one of your existing clients, that is a huge win because then you're like, really? Well, that's great. I don't know. Susan may have mentioned me. I'm not sure, but we've actually been doing their payment processing for years now now and you know we're a local company and then you kind of make your little you know elevator pitch whatever that might be if you're doing POS systems or cash discounting or whatever you're selling and you know you get that little uh, pitch in there and then you schedule the meeting and it's even better so I love that that's my favorite pitch so he said James how did you sell the most merchants with your with your opening pitch what was the opening pitch that you used to make the most merchant account sales I think I'd have to say that my favorite opening pitch the one I had the most success with was actually connecting with somebody on LinkedIn, walking in, and then having that conversation with them where it's like, hey, you know, I just connected with you on LinkedIn and having that great icebreaker. So I hope that you will leverage this. Take out your phone right now. If you've never done a search on LinkedIn, if you haven't done a search in the last 30 days on LinkedIn, take out your phone right now, open up LinkedIn, do a search for the word owner, select people, select first and second degree connections from the little drop down, then click on location and select a location near you and find somebody that you can go sell and try that opening pitch. I promise you're going to love it.